Did it go yes? Yeah, it said yes. No way. It did. Yes. Yes. No way. I feel like there's something in here with me. This is isolation is what this is. This yeah. is meant to break your soul and your mind and your spirit. It's like your senses are just gone. Yeah. No visuals. Okay, watch out. I just heard somebody talking. Like, there's some news. Tell us who's downstairs. I am. It just said I am. No way. Yeah. Something is down that hallway. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get this video started, I am pleased to announce we have a sponsor for today's video called Endel. So, Endel is this amazing environment-based app that creates personal real-time soundscape that is designed to help you focus, sleep better, or even just relax. So I've been using the app uh, for a short period of time now and it's amazing. Um, I've been using it while I sleep or to help me fall asleep. I'm finding that I'm actually sleeping better, my habits are better, and uh, I'm waking up less tired and more energized, which is fantastic. Endel is informed with science, created by science, and backed by science. Endel is an environment-based app that takes everything we know about sound and combines it with cutting-edge technology. The result is real-time, personalized soundscapes designed to help you relax, focus, and sleep. The app uses real-time inputs including heart rate, circadian rhythms, to personalize the sound for maximum effect. A really great thing about this is those nights when you're having trouble trying to fall asleep. It helps get you in the mood and want to fall asleep and even has a nice gentle alarm to help you wake up in the morning. I'm also really enjoying other great features like scenario mode, for example spa mode. You can set a timer and let it just take you away with sounds. The app is specifically recommended for those with ADHD, tinnitus, and sleep disorders. So if you think you could use some help sleeping, relaxing, or focusing, go and click the link to the Endel app down in my description below or in the pinned comment. And the first 100 people who download the app using my link will get one week for free of audio experiences. And now, back to the video. Look at that booty. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know how to twerk, even though I try sometimes. I'm very unsuccessful <laughs> at it, unfortunately. Just waiting for the cars to go by. So you say it's one of those nights too? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're out here, still in Ohio. We're in a new city uh, known as Brian. He's still here with Lamar. We got Chelsea behind the camera. She's gonna cameraman for me the entire night. Um, <laughs> she did not know that up until this moment. But, uh, no, I'm just joking. But, um, yeah, we're at a place called the Old Williams County Jail. It is like, what do you say, like 150, 160 years old, something around that. And uh, it's got a lot of history. Um, there's been a lot of people who've gone in and out of it. Um, some other interesting stories about hauntings following sheriffs from another jail as well into this place, which is fascinating. Um, cool. And one really, really crazy story about a murder that's happened here. There have been people who have passed away inside, um, people who have taketh their own selves. We'll just leave it at that. Um, about four of them, to be exact, that have been documented at the very least. And uh, yeah, um, we had Austin, who actually runs the location here, um, give us all the information. And we asked him like what his personal experience is. And on day one, he had something like a door or whatever open. That was a so, heavy door. Yeah, that was a very, all, very yeah. heavy door. Um, so yeah, there's a lot happening in here. We're going to be here uh, for a while. It's like still early. Um, so we got some time to hopefully capture some things. And the cool thing is Austin actually lent us some of his gear, which is new stuff because he is trying to like kind of promote it and get other, you know, investigators used to different things. And it's right? different too than yeah, the mainstream very, very stuff that you guys will see, which is interesting yeah, too. Which is uh, exciting because yeah. I like using 
new tools, so that should be fun. Apart from that, smash the like button, go and follow everybody here if you're not following already. Go and, uh, and, uh, buy some merch. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> So this is the OG merch. I don't know how well you can see it, but um, this was the original Exploring with Angelo merch, and uh, it's going away soon. If you want to get it, now's your chance before the end of the month. Um, yeah, let's uh, have a really good spooky season, okay? This is the Williams County Jail in Bryan, Ohio, uh, built in 1869. It was an active jail for 130 years, until 1999, uh, the last inmate was sent over to the uh, CCNO building in Stryker, which is the Correctional Center of Northwest Ohio. Yeah. Um, and so uh, at that point, it was just used as the Sheriff's Department until 2014 when they moved down the, the road to the other side of town uh, to the new building, and then this was shut down for good. Um, so yeah, it's basically, it was 130 years as an active jail and two, uh, 160, hold on, let me think, what's 2023, 20, 164 years old mm. overall, the structure. Much of it original. There's been a few m renovations and, um, not renovations, but like uh, modernizations. Modernizations. We'll call it. Yeah, yeah. we'll call it. Um, <laughs> but there's obviously still a lot of work that needs to be done. Right. Um, I mean, especially since 2014, like there's some things, like you can see the front door. Mm -hmm. Like it's wedged just because like during the warm months it bows down. Yeah, yeah. During the cold months it'll flatten back out, mm. but then it's, yeah, it's, well, it's yeah, so. without climate control, that's right. just what happens over yeah, time. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean it's a hundred and sixty yeah. whatever years old, you know. Um so this would have been your uh, central booking area. Mm -hmm. So somebody gets arrested, come here, or um if you're a member of the public and you're trying to do a visitation mm -hmm. with an inmate here. Um, you, you just, this was just the central booking you could pay your bail, you could pay fines right out here. Um, and then that would have been the central booking office, which is the base camp area. Okay. Um, this way it would have been, would have led to the, uh, this, this room right here is the locker room for the, for the deputies. Um, it, it, yeah, it's it got a lot of storage in it right now. So, but, um, we're actually going to go this way into the, uh, interrogation room. <laughs> so uh yeah you can see where the two-way mirror would have been right there okay uh, right here. Yep. and then uh the buzzer still works right yeah, here cool. <laughs> um well actually take that off that direction is just a little room for the inmate side of visitation and uh, this would have been uh just like a hallway where um like you're an attorney or a lawyer could come and uh, talk to their client. Right. This hallway just goes to a dead end right there. Um, but they obviously, you know, they have the, the grates on the bars now so that people can't. <laughs> um, this would have been your immediate holding cell. So you just got in or you're just getting out. Mm -hmm. um, or like you're only here for a night until somebody bails you out temporarily kind of thing. Uh, there would have been two sets of bunk beds, two here, two here. So it would have held four. Um, shower. Have you guys ever been to jail? I have. I'm no. just gonna like. <laughs> I admit to it. But, Was it fun? Uh, no, jail no, sucks. No, jail no, sucks. I, I imagine um, so. <laughs> one of the things that I learned in jail is that they don't give you anything to like eat with or drink with. Right. Like they give you the plastic stuff. At, yeah. At lunch, but like even then, mm -hmm. you know. But so uh, you can't get a cup, and in order to get a drink. You have to use your sink. Right. But you got to put your finger on the bottom, and the water flows out the top like a drinking fountain. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting little fact. Three cells in this hallway. Uh, so you already know that was the immediate holding. Uh, when this was first built in 1869, this was the long-term holding. Like you were going to be in here more than six months or something, you know. Um, eventually later it became the drunk tank mm -hmm. and so it's got two beds in there there's actually uh, there's I think I mean it's you can tell it's the drunk tank it's yeah. dark too um, and that last one would have been intermediate you're waiting on trial or whatever you know um, so do me a favor one of you guys and I do this to everybody so you're gonna have to bear with me 
Why don't you guys actually go over there and try to open that door for me? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay. Watch camera, and I just, it will open. I it promise will. you, it will this open. One? No, this one right here. Middle one? Yep. It will open, I promise you. Yep. There you go. Jeez, eh? Why is that so heavy? <laughs> Alright. So, my first, first day ever. Like, we had just gotten access to the location. It was just me and one other person in here. We were sweeping. And we sweeped down here, we were organizing. I was curious, of course. Opened it up about that far, a little less maybe. But then um, I shut it all the way back. Mm -hmm. And that's not something that you just forget you did, mm -hmm. right? That's a heavy door. Um, and uh, we went upstairs to sweep. We were up there about an hour or so. Uh, come back down, that door's wide open again. Hmm. Wow. First day. Nice. First day. That's a good right? welcoming, eh? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, I just, I always shut up, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shut up. That, easy. I, I say, I always try to say shut it because... Alright, well, uh, close, close it, it all the way now, see yeah. what happens. Exactly. <laughs> I haven't had it happen since, but the fact that it did it once, yeah. I would be like, okay. Mm -hmm. And there was, was there, any, was there anybody else in here with you? Or it was, was just, just me and a former teammate. Okay. Yeah. Huh. I had to let him go. It was a whole thing, but... Yeah. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, it was just me and him in here. We were both upstairs, uh -huh. and I know because the owner left, and we, it was just literally just us in here for like five hours. Mm -hmm. And we went upstairs, come back down, it's wide open again. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> that nice. camera is original to the building, but it's not connected to anything. So cool. Just just got a cool little red light on it. Yeah. <laughs> At some point, I think it'd be cool to tap into it. Yeah, <laughs> see if it actually works. <laughs> oh, it, it works. Does it? Yeah. All right, so this would have been your rec room, weightlifting area. Um, you see a punching bag mm -hmm. over right there. You got your pull-up bar right here. There's showers in there as well. So. I'm gonna get like a whistle. Oh, that's what I mean. I just like breathe heavily. Oh, okay. Heavily. I heard like almost like a whistle sound, <laughs> like in my ear. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I got one rule. Obviously, you see the black tape, just don't. Any light switch that has tape over it, just don't. Just okay. leave it. Um, so this would have been your women's cells. You're welcome to go in there. There's two women per cell. They had local access TV as well. Oh, nice. So, um, and all these lights, we can just shut them off so you guys don't have to. Worry about that later, right? And uh, these flowers, actually, a team that has come here several times. Apparently, she talked to a woman in there mm -hmm. and said that she wanted flowers. Oh, okay. Sweet. That's kind. So this would have been your um, solitary confinement, uh, segregation, like back in the early days. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, private protective custody. Um, and a separation. So like if you got in a fight with your inmate, right? Uh, one of the most famous cases in Bryan, at least, is a guy uh, by the name of James Robert Angle. Uh, he was a Navy soldier, or Navy, yeah, he was a Navy uh, sailor, sorry, <laughs> sailor in uh, World War II. And so he came back after the war and he, uh, I don't know, he hadn't been home for very long and he went up to the Bryan Library uh, across town, the Carnegie Library. Okay. And uh, he saw the librarian who was young, her name was Emily Abernathy. She was young, she just moved up from Tennessee, and uh, he said that he saw her and got the urge to kill her. Hmm. Like he, you know, just suddenly, all of a sudden, you know. Yeah. Um, but he said, what, this is what he said when he confessed, right? Uh, so he went, he left and then came back closer to closing time and uh when he it was like i think they closed at five he was there at like 4 30. he goes down into the basement where the uh historical archives are and when she comes down to uh when she comes down to tell him it's time to go he attacks her and he grabs her strangles her he bashes her head against the ground uh, and then he stabs her 27 times. Wow. Whoa. But what's even crazier is that he left. So like they saw the footprints leaving. 
he came back a couple hours later and beat her and abused her some more. When he was arrested, I don't know which cell, but one of those two. Mm. So he is, he's one of the more famous. Right. Inmates, Did he we, pass away here? Or? No. No? We do have four suicides that happened oh, in wow. here. Okay. Um, and I have articles. I, I have to get them printed out and mm. I keep procrastinating because I'm lazy. So, mm. um, but and I do need to get it done. What was his name again? James Robert Angle. I, James Jim. Robert Angle. Jim. 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 Okay. Yeah. Jimmy or Jim. Uh, so as we cross over here into the uh, sheriff's department, uh, this would have been the sheriff's office. Mm. And uh, I apparently one of the craziest stories that we get from here is the story of a li uh, like a little girl. Okay. But the little girl can be found in the jail too. Mm -hmm. So like I don't know. I don't know. We don't know who she is. We think she's the sheriff's daughter. Yeah, that's what something. I was thinking. Or something, you know, I don't know. Sounds like uh, Lorraine Yeah. yeah. Um, this would have been your disposition room. So, um, like, I can kind of see it. Like, deputies, mm -hmm. uh, like, chairs lined up, right? And you got a projector screen right about where you're at. Um, and the sheriff walks up every morning, you know, gives everybody a lowdown in their assignments for the night, for the day, right? Uh, this was the gun closet. It still has the uh, rack in it. Mm -hmm. It's got the uh, velvet shelf and everything in there. And then that was the evidence closet. And uh, the safe that I have down in the in the break room is the original safe that was in the office in mm -hmm. the closet. Cool. Um, it's kind of funny because when he uh, found the safe, when he when the owner bought the place, he actually opened up the safe and found like a dead weed plant. <laughs> and uh, found one of those silicone pol uh, collapsible bongs. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, someone I was, was like, what did you do with the bong, man? <laughs> <laughs> someone was hanging out in here, I guess. <laughs> oh, no, it was in the safe, so yeah. it was confiscated by the sheriff. Ah, department. nice. Uh, this <laughs> That's was hilarious. The, uh, just like a computer lab okay. type deal, okay. like where they did all the computer work. And the commu all the communications ran mm. through here. Something that might be of interest. Uh, this would have been just a small conference room. And then, shut that off. We're all adults here. So, Robocop. Okay. Right? They used to use it for their um, uh, day in the park thing that they do every year. Uh, and, you know, they got your face mm -hmm. in the hole. But which way, you know, when you put your face in the hole, depending on which way you put it in, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> well, looks like we're going to need some pictures of that later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. So that's the tour. Cool. Awesome. So nice. why do people think this is haunted? Just because of the suicides and just of the history in general? Or? Well, think about this. Um, like, and I don't know how you guys look at your... Um, like when you look at a haunting, like what you think about it. Um, I think that like, for instance, a little girl, a sheriff's daughter, possibly mm -hmm. if her, like maybe a sheriff was here for 40 years, 50 years or something, he was a sheriff, right? Mm -hmm. Like he came to work every single day and dude was so dedicated to his job. Everything's here. His wife. Well, they used to live they would have lived to there. It, yeah. So yeah. they would have probably had access to oh, yeah. here, right? 18, late 18, yeah, and that was... Yeah. Uh, it was 1869 was when it right. was built. Yeah, so, like so a very different time. People would have just but, been uh, around. One thing that is kind of funny, too, is... Um, so back when this... <laughs> and I always forget about this story, but I, I just remembered it. So uh, this is actually the second jail that was built in Bryan. The first one, you know, the GM building, you see the GM signs over mm -hmm. there? There's a building that's taller right past it. It's, um, that was the site of the first jail in Bryan. Mm -hmm. And um, have you guys ever read the book Of Mice and Men? Um, I know the band. <laughs> <laughs> Not the book, Not the though. Book, though. But yeah. the band's pretty good, though. <laughs> I had to school, so... Yeah. Um, the story of, of Mice and Men is basically talking about... Uh, this big lummox, I think his name is Lenny mm -hmm. in the book. Um, but then he's got this uh, conniving, smart, 
like Pinky and the Brain. You guys remember Pinky and the Brain? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so like, you know, Lenny is like this big guy. He's a little slow, but the mm -hmm. other guy is just a conniving guy. It's in, the the uh, schemer is Andrew Tyler. And so um, the whole story of, of Mice and Men is that they kidnapped this kid of a rich family and uh, they're, they use, use him for ransom, but uh, I guess ends up killing him anyways. But it's crazy the way that it happened because Andrew Tyler and his buddy kidnapped a kid from Brian, a rich family's kid, and uh, demanded money. They didn't pay it right away. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the big guy um, took the kid out to a field and like smashed his head on a rock. Damn. Or not on a rock, but on the knot of a tree. Mm. Like he actually swung him like a bat and like hit him. Jesus. Yeah, killed him. Um, so... They did the first and only public hanging in Williams County, right over there behind that building, where the original mm -hmm. thing was. But the way that the, the way that that story went is that like they put the fence, the privacy fence, right, mm -hmm. to do the hanging, but the public tore it down. They wanted to lynch the guy. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't well, blame them. They gave him one honest. final request, right, and he said uh, shorten the rope, and so they abided. They shortened it up a little bit, and then they tried to hang him. Well, he didn't die. His neck didn't snap, so he just stood there like, you know, screaming. The people were, like, mortified, you know, and nobody wanted to see that. So they brought him back down, went back up, restrung him up. He's asked to shorten the rope again. Nope. They actually lengthened it out, and then he was hung. Mm. But before all that happened, when I think when he was condemned to death, um... He had said that, uh, like, he was going to uh, make sure that they remembered him mm. or something. I can't remember the exact quote, but it's something along those lines. And uh, a lot of the deputies and the sheriff that moved from that jail over to this jail were very nervous because they said that Andrew Tyler was haunting them mm. here. Interesting. And this was, like, 18, like, yeah. there's reports and stories. <laughs> wild <laughs> so like this place was haunted from the get-go yeah um and so uh there, i mean there's a lot mm -hmm. there's, i mean plus think 130 years of inmates i mean that's a thousands of inmates right mm -hmm. now when people get arrested how are they feeling probably oh my god you know i bought rock bottom right mm -hmm. a lot of people um so like you think about all those emotions all that like misery all that uh you know, like just the, all the guilt, the remorse, what, everything that you have to sit there and sit in that cell and live with. Like up in the, up in the separation cells, the segregation cells, um, there's writing on the walls in the first cell. And like you can read it, it says like, uh, help me God, I miss my family, I want my mother. There's mm -hmm. like, it's, you can like feel that emotion. Yeah, right? well, isolation is the worst place to be. That's how you, that's how you truly break a man. Put them into well, isolation, right? It wasn't even necessary. Like, it, they didn't really have a solitary confinement here. Right. I mean, they had it as a timeout more mm -hmm. than anything. Or if you were protective custody, like a child molester or mm -hmm. something, you know, keep you away from everybody else. Yeah. Um, like, that, that that was really more or less what it was used for. But, I mean, so it, they had their own private bathrooms and everything, mm -hmm. too, you know? So it wasn't all that bad. Yeah. But when it was dark, it was dark in that hallway when it was yeah. lights out. <laughs> but when you, when um, you hear the rats scurrying <laughs> well, luckily there aren't any rats there was a yeah. squirrel over in the um but that's part of why we have the uh bullpen closed right. off because there's it's got things, things getting in there yeah. yeah well plus uh the owner has like a crap ton of estate sale items mm. oh. think about estate sales man what yeah. is an estate sale yeah. when somebody dies yeah. and it's all so of their all shit the gets sold so yeah. how much energy is in that room yeah. Yeah. yeah but i think it emanates throughout the whole place oh, mm -hmm. definitely it would. Yeah. like there's a lot you guys believe in the stone tape theory too no what's that what's that the stone tape theory no. you've never heard of that we've never met anybody as smart as you before okay <laughs> so <laughs> um, please explain though okay so the stone tape theory <laughs> is basically the idea that 
the walls made of stone or brick mm -hmm. or whatever like they hold energy like they have imprinted like, energy. okay so okay now yeah. now i know what you're referring to like sort of like wood has the same effect sort of thing yeah right? but like, like if somebody very... touches wood or a doorknob or something along those well, lines well no this is it's like actually uh, like when something happens stone? that energy is imprinted into the stone okay and so like that energy just mm -hmm. remains in the building like and then it can replay like a tape, so like that's where you get residual right. hauntings. So you mean right. like the imprint theory? Or like it's, like, yeah, it's basically you know, the same thing. Yeah, same idea, yeah, okay. okay. Now I got what, what you mean. Yeah. Look at us. I, th I, I think, think yeah, I, I, I think, think it's also just, a band just the actual too, term. But, uh, yeah. It's also yeah. a band too, but I think <laughs> don't, don't look at that. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah. All right, sounds good. All righty, time to close this door. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. It's so hard. Okay, good enough. It's as good as it's gonna get for now. All right. Here we go. Yeah, so so exciting. I'm so excited. Yeah. So quick, quick, quick thing. Mm -hmm. This is a yes or no box. Nice. So exciting. This was, um, what was it again, boys? Uh, Jingle Jangle Box. Yeah. A music box? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay, right. so a different type of music box. Mm -hmm. This one is like a mini, has many different functions, like a little mini Ouija board, a little mini canvas thing. It's kind of like another version of an ovulus type vibe. So, another cool thing. My breath. <laughs> She's so excited. Honestly. I'm so excited. Especially before, about this one. But for a good reason, because this is actually. Yeah, really this cool. thing's neat. This one's cool. This one's mine. Mm hmm. No touchy touchies. I will touch it at some point. Oh. I'm going to touch your black box, okay? You're going to touch my box. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Omar? <laughs> All right. So, this one is. Um, it's really cool because it's actually directed from the energy that the person is holding it. So it's kind of like another different type of spirit box, but it has a lot more channels. I think he said what, like 3,000 channels? 1,700, I think he said. 17? I think it's called a, a hold on, it's an, hold on. a direct I, link. Right, an IDC direct link, he called it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell that means, but. <laughs> yeah. Dude's so, got some stuff, yeah, okay? Yeah, some cool stuff, for sure. Yeah. Um, he also makes other different devices. Yeah, really yeah. Cool. He actually made one for our friend Elliot, which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. a couple yeah. of different uh, spirit world. boxes, yeah. But we got to remind Elliot to send it back so that way apparently Austin can fix it. Yeah, because it's <laughs> Cool yeah, yeah, yeah. The doll. Yeah. So this, yeah. he actually explained how like that device is based on the energy you. of the person using it. So he said it's actually best for psychics and psychic mediums to be using it because we already have that advantage of the energy in the other realm. So pretty much how it works is you turn it on and then there's two buttons back here. So when you want to ask a question, you you aren't holding either of those buttons. You ask your question and then you put your finger on the top button and that's when your energy goes into it and you should be able to hear the words that are coming out. Yeah. So he was saying the last other medium who uses had like a 10 minute conversation with someone. Cool. So I think it'd be cool. Definitely cool to try out. And then did he say we can use any other ones? I don't remember. I think that's use everything. This, like, giant this, box this big yeah. box. Yeah. No, I don't. I, see the, the thing with that one is it's going to be a lot harder to use. Yeah. So, well, I mean, we can try it, though. It was just an antenna he popped up, and you t it's like a spirit box. Yeah, like he was like, well, the knobs, if we don't touch the knobs, <laughs> it might be pretty much set to whatever he did. So, yeah, exactly. let's not fiddle with it, okay, and so then... How do we even turn it on? There was an antenna, I think, um, right here. I think Oh, wait, 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 wait. And then it flips up. Hang on. Careful, we can't touch all the knobs. Oh, radio on, off. On volume. That thing is creepy. That is. <laughs> wait, wait, you got something. Oh. It's creepy because there's like a visual to it. Yeah. I, I thought I just heard it say help. We heard a few things. We, we were trying it out earlier. We heard like murder. I mean, Austin heard burger. But we both, but heard, we murder. both heard murder. You heard 
fresher, yeah. I yeah. think. Yeah. <laughs> so. Here's the test. Is there any inmates in here with us tonight that were here in the past? Five. Five? Is it five or fight? Mm -hmm. I heard fight. I kind of heard fight. But five is possible too. Maybe five thoughts. Did you say five or fight? That was a woman. It said speak, I think. Yeah. Okay, so what did you put in my back? Okay, it's funny that you said that too, because when I was standing here and we're all in here, someone it's touched like, my back. Like repetitively. Yeah. Seriously? Like right here, yeah. Alright, well, oh, that's super interesting. It is, that's honestly. It's kind of easier really than cool. I thought. Yeah. I don't think it's completely off yet. No, though. I don't know what to do. But I'm really excited to try this thing. Yeah, me too. I'm excited to try all yeah, the new stuff. Odd. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, very it. good job, Omar. All right. All right. We did it. It just goes in, push the top. You know, we're just kind of like, in a, you know, testing out moods. So you got a yes or no box, REM pod over there, POVs downstairs. Um, we got the whole jail kind of thing. Yeah, right now. there's another REM pod down there, motion sensor down here. Yeah. A little bit of everything everywhere. I got the really loud one down at the end of the hallway there. In the other cell? I think that was the women's... This side of the women's? No, that's separation. Oh, okay. Separation so this this is, the this is the women's, right? Okay. Yeah. So tonight, our motive is to try and communicate with anyone from the jail, whether they were in here, moved on, died somewhere else, or even died in the jail. So, yeah, yeah. that's our motive for tonight. Let's see what's going on in this place. Are you ready to try this uh, bad boy? Oh, yeah. It? Are you using it? Doesn't matter. Okay. Do your focus. All right. I think, I think. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> are there any spirits, are, are there any spirits that are here tonight that wish to communicate with me? If so, can you tell me your name? Because you gotta take your finger off when you oh, ask, that's right? right I do. Yeah. If there's anyone, can you tell me your name, please? What was that? Some guys singing. Steve? I heard, yeah, it started with an S. Yeah, it started like Steve. Is your name Steve? Yes. Did it go yes? Yeah, it said yes. No way. It did. Here, if I hold this camera, I'll keep it pointing. Yeah, it said Does yes. it only do it for like a second when it goes to yes? Yeah, it's like pretty quick. Steve, are you in this room with us? Yes or no? Steve, did you just leave? Steve, if you didn't know, yes. Chelsea here. Want to again? Mm -hmm. Chelsea here can talk to spirits, people who have passed on, so if you have any messages for her, talk to her please. You can also use any of these devices to communicate with any of us, if you prefer to talk to a male other than a female, but I'm sure you'd probably want some female attention. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any women inmates with us right now? Shuffle down on this side. 
What was his name again? The murderer that Jim. Was Jim. Jim. Jim, are you here with us right now? Can you tell us where you want us to go? Yes. Said yes? That's a yes. Okay, so you, tell me where you want us to go. We'll go anywhere. Here first, we'll introduce ourselves. My name is Lamar. I'm Chelsea. And I'm Angelino Bambino. And we're all from Canada, eh? We were out and about today and we decided to come on down to Ohio. How do you feel with fellow Canadians here? It's uh, oot not in a boot. Canadians. Oot in a boot. Oot in a boot. Would you like to go hack a dirt there, bud? Or take a rip in my truck there, bud? <laughs> we can uh, go grab a double double. Maybe double double. Minutes. Yep. Mm hmm. Do you like our Canadian slang? And I'd also like to, to let you know that we, uh, we disown Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> he does not belong oh. to us. He does not like it, it just flickered to no. No? Yeah, it went to no. Uh-oh. No way. Did you guys not hear that, like, scream on this thing, too? Yeah. Just scream. So you don't like us that we're from Canada? Or Canadian. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> wow, I can't talk. Mm. You don't like that we're from Canada, right? Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Do you wish that we were American? For every day, every day, every day, every day. Jim, do you at do you understand the questions we're asking you? Yes or no? Please use as much energy as you can. Yes. <gasps> yes. No way. It's a yes on there? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> no. No. Oh, well, somebody's confused. Is there more than one of you responding on this thing at a time? Yes or no? There you go. What did it say? It said yes. It blinked yes. Can you tell me how many people are with us right now? I just heard something down this hallway. Is there somebody down this hallway? What? Yeah. What did it say? Dark? Dark. Oh, that's creepy. Go left. Okay, we're following your instructions. Do you want us to go downstairs? Got Robo Robocop down there. Are you by the Robocop uh, picture, if you know who he is? Back. Back? Back? You want us to come back? It's weird because I, I was seeing something on the corner of my eye up here. Yeah? I was standing here and it's like something just zigzag like that. Hmm. I don't know what that was. Are there any old officers who still kind of come and hang out here? Move it. 
and grab this uh, mechanism over here. So I'll uh, bring it with me. Alrighty. I feel like there's something down here. Is there somebody down this hallway? Yes or no? No. Are you lying to me? Yes or no? Oh, wow. <laughs> hey guys, there's something down here. as I'm walking in here. Okay, are you in this cell, yes or no? A for yes, B for no. No, okay. Nothing in this one. Are you in this cell, yes or no? A for yes, B for no, please. Can you tell me if you're in this cell? Sound like something just scraped that door. Jim, are you in this cell? Yes or no? I feel like there's something in here with me. Jim, are you in this cell? Yes or no? There's something over here. What are you picking up on? I don't know. I just get a feeling that there's something in here. It's weird because it like it was giving me direct answers. From there, I asked if there was somebody down this hallway. It said yes. And then I asked if there was anybody in that cell. It said no. And then I get to this cell, and it just will not give me an answer on here. They're probably testing you, bro. Yeah, I imagine so. Do you want to bring that thing over here and see if it works in this cell? Yeah, might as well. Just be careful because they're really loud REM pods in here, so... What the hell was that? What? Something right up here. Seriously? Yeah. I heard something move. Sorry. <sighs> that thing just that thing just said no for some reason. <laughs> oh my god, that was loud. Yeah. Yeah. So I wonder if they're just Oh, see? Look, he said no. As you said prankster, he said no. So you're not a prankster? All right, let's turn this thing back on. Does someone else want to try it? I'll try it. Okay. Do you want to use this? <sighs> I feel like he's in here, though. Jim? Yeah. <laughs> Jim, make it go to green if you're here. I know you're lying because you said you were lying. Get out. Hmm. How many people are in this wing? and room with us right now.
Stop recording, I don't know why. Will you make yourselves known if we come up here at least by ourselves? Will you grab Lamar's booty if he comes up here by himself? He's got a nice one, I can I can guarantee you yeah. I've seen it. It said yeah? It said yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to grab Lamar's booty, make this thing in my hand go to yes. Shut that off just for a sec here. Is that a no? You don't like his booty? I understand. He doesn't have the other girl as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. First, I thought maybe you tooted. Oh, it said yes. It said yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did the spirit do it? <laughs> you okay, Hope? Yeah, I'm good. I just can't imagine what it would be like to, to be, be in stuck here. Stuck in here. Yeah, I know. You know? It'd be freaking. Uh... I'd rather be in the cells that have the bars than a wall. Yeah. You know, yeah. like it's... Well, when they close the door, it's pitch black in here. Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing. You know, they called it separation, but let's be realistic. This is isolation, is what this is. This yeah. is meant to break your soul and your mind and your spirit. It's like your senses are just gone. Yeah. No visuals, probably barely any audio, you just hear movement. Yeah, yeah. And make your way to the bathroom by yourself. Hmm. The dark. Are we right about any of that stuff we're talking about? Was it bad? Did it break your soul? Was life hard in here? Really? Yeah. Was that you, Jim, who just made that loud bang? What was? Maybe we should go check if somebody came in. Let's go together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someone's in. What's that? Hey. What is that? Did someone come in the building? Or was that you? Yes or no if that was you? Yes. Do you want to yes? Yeah, we're going to yes. There's no shuffling. I don't know. I'm going to go take a look. What? I think someone's here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just heard something again, but where the hell did it come from? So this place is kind of confusing. Oh, there's a camera right there. That scared the crap out of me. Hello? Over here.
There's no one here. I just heard somebody talking, like as if somebody was having a conversation. Wait, how did this end up down here? I put it there. Oh, okay. Dude. Is somebody up here? Is Chelsea still up here or downstairs? She's up there. There's nobody here. Oh. What happened? What happened? Dude, what happened? There's a damn... Where are you? Dude, someone was just standing in here. What? Are you okay? Bro. You saw somebody? The sides of the door frame. I'm like just going and then just someone's here. Jim, is that you? That looks yeah, so real. That like... Jesus. Ooh. Yes, that was Jim. It said yes? I've been talking to Jim. I'm literally tra like talking to him. Yeah. I asked if he killed that girl. It said yes. I asked if he stabbed her 27 times. It said yes. Crap. <laughs> oh my God. Try this thing again. Dude, that trip, man. Rock here in segregation. EVP number one. I just heard a voice down that way. Did you mean there? No. Hey, Jim, do you want to talk to me? Heard that. Heard that, it said. Yeah. What are we hearing? Is that you making uh, talking or making noises? Yeah. Hurry? Mori or hurry? I heard Mori. Do you like the show Mori? a serious question by the way. <laughs> it said yes! I saw it blink to green. <laughs> yes. What other TV shows do you guys like in here? Might as well ask, right? That's a weird one. Jim, how tall are you? Are you over six feet? Six feet three? Look at how tall they are. Is that yes? Yeah. Sun? I heard sun. Do you want to see the sun? Yeah? Or are you asking for your sun? Please? Said no. So it was probably the other one. The left. I think it just said the left. Yeah. 
Jim, is this your cell? Did Lamar see you in this cell? with us right now. Tell us your name. Me. Jax? Or Max? Maybe? How many people have died here over the years? Do you know how many people have died here? Something. The hell? Try it. Yo. Someone literally just like kicked me or hit me or something in here. Seriously? Yeah. Like right here. Let's just say my name. Kind of sounded like my name. Hey. Hey. Hey you. Oh yeah. In this general area, it's like there's mo either multiple things or it's bouncing back and forth. Okay, maybe we'll try something else to talk to you guys. Chelsea heard something downstairs. Again? Tell us who's downstairs. I am. It just said I am. No way. Yeah. Who's downstairs? Tell us your name. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe let's uh, let's listen, see where they are. Try to listen a little bit and see if we can hear where the hell it's coming from. Because we're definitely hearing things. Chelsea's hearing something. Coming from downstairs. Mm. Let's see what they're uh, hearing. Actually, you know what? I am going to go downstairs. I'm going to take another sweep. See if we can uh, hear some weird noises. Whatever that was, that freaking hit me hurt. Damn. Alrighty. Is 
there anybody down here? coming through yeah do you guys hear anything I also was hearing movement down here but like right in this area yeah, yeah. I can't go down here so Is that up there? I don't know. I just like, I feel like we're constantly being watched. Yeah. Like they're pranking us right now. Oh, 100%. Is there anybody in these cells by chance? We can move some stuff around and uh, listen to your EVP. Go yeah. home. Guys, quick question. Did you guys happen to move my camera that was in this hallway? Nope. No. I remember walking over it, but I didn't move it. Something moved your camera? Yeah. I didn't leave it like that. Why when, would I? when I left, I walked over it, but it was still standing up. I didn't. Yeah. yeah. I promise you, on my life, I did not touch your camera. Yeah. When I left, I like just like checked to make sure it was recording. Someone doesn't want us filming this one section. No. <sighs> okay. And it just said no. It said no, and then it said it might have gone to yes. I don't know. I thought I saw a green light. Did you move my camera? Oh. What the hell? Something just touched my neck. Who's trying to get Angela's attention right now? Persistent on him being in the female ward. Who is? I don't know. I'm just persistent. The on ladies. Him being in there, yeah. I'll go and do a solo. Yeah, I just keep getting this like vibe that you need to be. In There's there. nothing on my neck, is there? No, I can't see anything. It's a okay. little red, but. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. That was weird. Okay. Well, we can leave you up here, and you can do your uh, solo and. Yeah, I'll right. just have to grab the POV and then I'll be up and do it. Alright. Okay guys, um, I'm gonna head off into the abyss. Good luck. Uh, Alrighty. <laughs> I'm packing up. <laughs> You're packing up? Yeah. Getting ready to go? It was that bad, eh? Dude, I gashed my hip and I honestly just uh, <laughs> Yeah, Omar is uh, currently damaged goods because he's, uh, oof, look at that, look at that. Yes. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna head on in and uh, see what I get up. I guess you guys didn't 
move any of the equipment from upstairs, did you? No, it's all upstairs. All, wow. All upstairs still. It's all little blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, cool. Yeah. Alright, see y'all soon. Alright, good luck. Let's get this into night vision. There we go. There we go. We are all set. This is uh the final investigation, it looks like. Here in Ohio. It's been fun. Alrighty, uh. Oh. Let me put this. Uh, just need the flashlight for a second because in order to see to get through. Um, alrighty. This is kind of spooky because I can't see anything. There's like a little tiny bit of light coming through the windows, but that is about it. Uh, I guess I could get the spirit talker going as well while I walk through. Uh, okay, loading, loading. Let's get this thing scanning. Okay, she is scanning. What the hell? I gotta turn the volume up apparently. That's I said inside. Ooh, wrong button. <laughs> it said inside Charlie. I don't really know what that's supposed to mean, but there we go. We've got some volume now. Whew. I'm a little spooky. I might start hallucinating a little. <laughs> Wait, did I say I'm a little spooky? I meant I'm a little tired. That's how tired I am. I can't even speak, apparently. Okay. Yeah, this place is uh, definitely interesting. To say the least. Oop. There's a cat ball there. I keep hearing something. It sounds like the REM pod. I don't know. Is there somebody upstairs fiddling with the equipment that we set up? Something just got dragged literally across the floor. Okay, what is going on up there? Hello? Alright spirits, I'm gonna come upstairs and join you. So it sounded to me like the uh Demonstrate. Demonstrate. Are you gonna demonstrate something? What are you looking at? Okay, it's just the door. <laughs> For some reason I thought I saw something else. That was weird. Little girl. Oh man, that's creepy. Little girl. That is super creepy. So when we first got here, we got the tour from Austin, and he mentioned that there's a little girl or something in here. I just saw like a flash of light in there. Somebody in that room over there? He oh. killed us. Whoa. What the hell is that? Sounds like keys or something. Object. 
What the hell? What was that? Object. What are you objecting to? Okay, who's doing that? What the hell? Who's over there? Is that you, Sebastian? Where are you? I can I hear something. What is that? What the hell? What is this doing here? Something's coming from that way. Okay, I'm gonna just move this because. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay, that REM pod just went off. I am not nearly close enough to make it. Necromancer. Necromancer. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Okay. O Omar? Dude. I will flash the lights. Whoa. Which light are you gonna... Whoa, we just flashed that light on that box. Okay. Well, that makes it a little bit more hard to communicate. Anybody in the separation cells? Or maybe you're in the women's cells. Alright, well, I guess we'll try out the women's cells first. What's down that hallway? I wonder what would happen if I try this thing again. I 
thing was actually I was pretty cool. Bad. Oh wow. Who were you treated bad by? Hearing like it sounds like keys jingling. Oh my lord, what was that? What was that? Dude, what the hell is going on in here? Nice hat. Oh. Nice hat? Okay, so clearly you can see me. Dude, what is that? It literally sounds like keys. I'm hoping the microphone's picking this up, but... Right. Where are you? Okay. That thing just said something. Okay. If you're ahead of me, make this thing go green. Yes or no? Are you ahead of me? Or are you behind me? Sure, now it's not doing anything, of course. I think it's ahead of me. My name is Mildred. Mildred? Mildred, where are you? Alright, who keeps making those noises? Alright, now I'm freaked out. I feel like I'm being what? I'm just gonna go into these cells for a second. Is there anybody in these separation cells? Lord, mom. What? What do you mean by that? You want your mom? Here's some footsteps. Bad. Bad. Is there something bad here? Oh, it makes sense. I'm in Jim's cell. Jim, are you in your cell? Do you want to talk to me? Save. Save. Are you trying to trick me? Atmosphere. I'm not sure what that means, atmosphere. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by atmosphere? I'm getting very, very heavy vibe all of a sudden. 
This was my home. What was that? Where I keep hearing keys. Either I'm losing my mind. Again, I can't tell where it's coming from though. Okay, where are you? I keep hearing you make sounds. Are you downstairs? I think I'm gonna make my way downstairs, guys, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna actually bring this thing with me because this thing's pretty cool. It's super bright, though. Jeez, it's like blinding. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell was that? All right, who did that? For a second, I swear I thought I saw somebody standing next to me. Okay, you know what, we're gonna just put this down. All right, who did that? What, what, what was that noise? That was loud as sh Who's down there? There it again. I don't know if the mic is picking this up at all, but there is something jingling. Please keep talking. Okay. Is there like a guard or somebody around here? Damn, so many responses. I'm with my children. Oh, wow. Are your children visiting you? <clears throat> what the hell was that? I just kicked something <laughs> on the damn stairs. Okay, I think I'm gonna make my way. Something moved. Hello? I don't know where the hell that came from, but I'm gonna make my way back to the uh, home base. Just turn my. Battery's about to die. Crap. I don't know which direction that came from. It's weird because it sounded like it was at the back there. I don't know, but my battery's literally about to die. Well, that was interesting. How was it? It was good. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> A few bangs. Um, heard some keys jingling. So you heard it too, eh? You heard that too? Yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah. It was like here and there. It was a little bit faint, so hopefully the uh, the mic picks it up. But yeah, I definitely heard that. <laughs> wow. Because we were hearing that too. Like, yeah. Clear yeah. as day. It was real. Like, it's, oh, yeah. It's so real. Yeah. So, I wonder um, if that's the guard. I, I think it, it is. could be. I mean, the inmates wouldn't have keys. Yeah. You shouldn't at least, right? Yeah. Um, so kind of wanted to do just one more thing. It's more like a, an experiment for us. Um, we've never used this thing before. So this little tiny device that's like, 
like a, like a sort of fit like a, watch. Yeah, kind of it literally looks like a fit watch. <laughs> um, I think it's upstairs. Uh, we meant to use it and then we just completely forgot about it. So we might as well head on up for like, I don't know, a little bit and yeah, yeah. see what we can get out of it. Okay, um, back up to the scary upstairs area. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty spooky up here. Did you hear that fart? Ghost fart. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alrighty. Um. <sighs> so I'll put this down here. Damn, Omar, your uh, farts really stink. Yeah. Did I just plug it in? Oh boy. My bad. Well, good thing you have five power banks, right? <laughs> Just me. Does this thing go chatter, so, chatter guys? I'm moving the red wall. <laughs> Drop everything. Right here. <laughs> um, it's calibrating. Okay. Can someone move away from that? We've been having walking like. In this hollow mm -hmm. Can you make it stop, please? <clears throat> Can you have to reset it? Okay, I kind of want to try this thing. So there's the photo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you want to hold it? So what, what do you... What did he say exactly this resembled? Like, almost like little blurry images? Yeah. It looks like a face of like a woman. Doesn't it? It looks like a person yeah. right there, right? Eh? Oh yeah, it does. Is that a picture of you? Or somebody that resembles you? I don't know. So can you get that? Kind of. It's really blurry. <laughs> Can you generate a picture of what you're thinking right now? Or maybe what you're feeling? It's really awkward to hold this. Yeah. There's this thing in his hand. You can make a picture show up. Can you show me a dog? That'd be pretty cool. That'd be cool. I don't know. I'm not sure. How, I don't know like how long it takes. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> anything about this. One. Yeah, me neither. This is totally. Oh, where did you go? Maybe the bottom. There's like a Ouija one. Oh, oh that's the Ouija whoa. board. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So it selects letters and numbers, I guess. Guess so. K. X. You said K. Oh, it's K. <laughs> K. Who is here with us right now? Can you, can you spell out your name? K L K L Z Kills E H Kills Z Kills Z. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not really a word. Unless it's making fun of us because we're Canadian. Kills Maybe. Eh? Kills, eh? Whoa, like I clear it and it comes back automatically. What, the same? I N N N space EC ECJ ECJ? What is that supposed to mean, ECJ? Are you trying to tell us where you are? Like you're in one of these cells? Hmm. Okay. What about the eight ball thing? Ooh. Ask. 
Okay. Are you friendly? Give it a good shake, Omar. <laughs> I don't think you're actually supposed to, but... Are you friendly? Now it's are just, you? it's just dead quiet. Oh, he said certainly. You asked, are you friendly? He said certainly. Oh, that's cool. Certainly. Who are we talking to right now? An <laughs> inmate? Or someone else? Can I go back to you? Who are we talking to right now? Did you switch it? No, same one. Oh, okay. Are you over there? Wait, that's the temperature sensor. That means the temperature's changing. And my camera won't focus on it. There we go. The weird thing is I never turned it on. I turned it on. The temperature sensor. You turned the temperature sensor on? I don't know. I just flipped it's the, the little red. It it's the little red button yeah. on the op. You turned it on? Yeah. Okay. It said feasibly. I asked, are you over there? It said feasibly. So possibly. So they're not sure? Are you not sure if you're a prisoner here? Are you confused? Yeah, give it a give it a good shake, Omar. I don't know. Shake it. Supposed to do it like that? <laughs> I don't think so, but it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go? We were experiencing many sounds earlier. We all did. Are you female? Feasibly. It said feasibly? Yeah. <clears throat> Are you male? <coughs> female or male? Yes or no? Oh! Oh wow. Whoa! I came out of nowhere. Yeah. Whoa! What? That was creepy. There was like a gust of wind right here. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, it shocked me. <laughs> Dude. It said probably. Are you standing over there or did you walk through that doorway? Oh. Did you hear that noise? I heard something. Almost like footsteps, kind of? Yeah. Like something moved? Where did you go? Are you in one of the cells? Keep saying feasibly. That's weird. For the eight ball, you have to keep going back for it. We, uh, Let's see what else it does. If we can set it to like words. There is a word bank. I know that much. Yeah, that's one of those. Did you just walk past us? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know. What is that? I don't know. Oh. oh, it did something. Oh, it's giving you words now. Beans dick. What? What are you talking about an inmate named Beans? Or dick. Or it could be talking about dick. Maybe it wants dick. My grandpa's like, name is Dick, too. Which means Richard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Either maybe, is your name Dick or do you want Dick? <laughs> which one is it? <laughs> I mean, let's be realistic right now, okay? <laughs> We're in a jail. <laughs> I'm just going to be quite straightforward, okay? I'm tired. <laughs> we need some direct answers here. Why is it showing me this now? What the hell was that? So want me to barcode it? Maybe. Try it out. See what happens. Technology, man. Hey, all right. I don't let's know what's going on here. Communicate with us uh, with the Fitbit watch thing over here. Barcodes. We're communicating with this thing. Did it do anything? It's bringing me to the website. Dictionary. A dictionary. Oh. Definition of a dictionary. What the hell? I'm so confused. Me too. Yeah, that's weird, <laughs> let's try this one again now. Okay. 
All right. Like Angela asked, is your name Dick? Or do you want penis? <laughs> What'd it say? Panic, nicotine, sculpture, and... Rafiko. Rafiko? What's Rafiko? I don't know. Do you want a cigarette? You said nicotine. Is that what you want? Do you have any on you? They're downstairs. There's one downstairs. Oh, it said yes. I saw it blink green. So you want a cigarette? Probably. And dick, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what? I wonder if it's a female saying that. Well, it could also be Listen, male. Listen, okay? If you've been in jail for 35 years and you haven't had any dick, wouldn't you want some dick? <laughs> no comment, bro. <laughs> so serious. <laughs> I wonder if we're standing in front of the women's cell. I wonder if that's a woman. Could be. Or Jim. Are you a woman or a man? <clears throat> Specifically, are you a woman? You can answer even on the blue box over there. I J I L. Keep in mind, this also could be scrambled. Mm hmm. I Jello. What? I Jello. I Jello. <laughs> okay. Is that my new name? Is that my, like, prison name? <laughs> Might actually be trying I, to say Angelo. I Jello <laughs> is. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, that thing just doesn't seem to work properly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know how I feel about the Ouija one. Yeah. Yeah, let's get out of that one. So for the word one, seems like it might be something. All right, yeah. let's go back. Uh, I don't know. Hello? Did you die here in the prison or jail? Dreading. Dreading? Dreading, nonce, nonce, nonce. Just Jupiter, 1792. Whoa. That's another temperature. Uh, temperature, yeah. What I'm not understanding is where do those thumbs come from? I don't those know. Movement. I, w I got no idea. Did you go to bed? Is that you, are you trying to go to bed? I mean, we did step out of the building for a little bit. Energy could have dropped. Okay, well, we're going to probably head out. It was nice uh, talking to y'all. Bailing, Aries, bloated, youngster. 6763. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Bailing, youngster, bloated, Aries. Which one of those words has more meaning to you? It clearly triggered something. Or maybe you just don't want us to leave. If you don't want us to leave, make that thing go off again. Do you want us to leave, yes or no? Superstition, someone oblivious, changed, brutalized. Brutalized, that's the only one that could stand out to me. Hey, I mean, kind of relates back to what we got in the office, remember how they mm -hmm. said they were treated poorly and yeah. that they would get black eyes. People would yeah. get black eyes, so. Um. Okay. Well, do you, we're going to leave. Is that okay with you? We're all very tired. We're also going back to Canada tomorrow. A. So, say what you need to say to us Canadians, even if it's hateful. Do you want me to bring you up a cigarette before I leave? Brats. Darken. What? Weird. Oh, I think they're saying we're brats because we're rubbing in that we get to go home. Oh, maybe. I also kind of thought maybe we should have offered a cigarette earlier. Yeah, I thought about it and I completely forgot, to be honest with you. We're sorry, spirits. But we'll bring you one before we leave. Yeah. How's that? Offering. I mean, they're Canadian cigarettes, so it might not be exactly what you're used to, but... It's still nicotine. Right? It's still nicotine. Damn right. Okay.
All right, guys, we're out of here. Yes, sir. Hasta la vista.